friends. Welcome to the Core View Way. Our time together is going to be just wonderful for stretching our bodies, opening our minds, and warming our hearts with all that is inside of us. So as we get started on our practice today, I invite you to find your most comfortable seated position, pulling the flesh back and away from underneath your sit bones, and then draw the pelvic hammock up, roll the shoulder blades down the back, lift that beautiful heart of yours, and then rest the palms gently open today. And I ask that you begin our practice in this state today because of, it's a week from now is Thanksgiving, the holiday of gratitude, the holiday of thankfulness. I invite you to have the palms open and up on your knees, relaxing the insides of your legs, sitting with the crown of the head towards the blue sky above, and closing our eyes to think about all that we have to be grateful for and say thank you. Three soft, quiet, internal times. And with each thank you, on the exhale, relax a place of tension. Smoothing the lines around the eyes and feeling the breath begin to warm the body. Feel the coolness of the flow as it enters your body to be warmed as it leaves our bodies. Settle in here, my friends, this week before Thanksgiving. taking the mind's eye and beginning to reflect inward. What is it that you are most grateful for? And why? And when was the last time you did say thank you to that grateful thing, that grateful person or item or place? You see, this is a practice for you to choose. For you to choose a deepening understanding of who you are, of what is available to you inside your own gifted body that maybe you have kept at an arm's distance. Beginning to deepen the flow of the breath, feel the base of the belly extend from your body, and take little sips and walk that breath all the way up into the heart bone, that heart center, pausing for just a moment before you relax the shoulders, slide them down your back, and then begin to feel some weight in the elbows. You see, there is no rush. The key is to slow the mind. And as we slow our thoughts, we signal the body to let go of what we have needlessly been holding on to. Let's quietly sit here and take five lengthy inhales with equal measure exhale. Friends, let's take one more community inhale, make it a really long draw. 
sitting up right on the tip of those sit bones, and then sigh it out our mouth. Awesome. Rolling the palms down on top of our knees. Let's just sway from side to side. Soft and gentle, keeping the head over the heart, the shoulders over the hips. We're not gripping, we're not pulling. We're just easily rotating from side to side. Yeah. Begin to feel, maybe there's tension in those hip flexors. See if with the weight of the palm of your hands on the inside of the knees, you can just press lightly down, just a little bit of pressure there, open them a little bit wider. And then begin to inhale forward and start to make upper body sweeping circles. Soft elbows, the elbows fold right behind. Fingers again are loose, our jaw is loose. There's a smile not only on our face, but a smile in our heart, yeah. Let's go the other direction. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. Leaning out from the crown of our head, taking time to get right up over those hips before we sway again forward. Yeah, one more time. Great, come on back up to that seated position and let's just tip our, ch our chin right down to our chest. Really wear some weight, keeping the spine erect, wear some weight in those shoulders, release the shoulders from the base of the neck. Relaxing the eyes, the teeth, the tongue, the jaw. Take that breath all the way up into the heart center, friends. And then as we let the breath go, Go ahead and let the head lean down and forward a little bit more. Nice. Leaving our hands on our knees, let's rotate the chin so it's going to the right armpit. Take a breath first and check in with your spine. Is it supported by the lower belly? and let the head nod out just a little bit more. Keeping our hands in place, rotate the chin to the horizon so the ear is right over the shoulder. Then taking the left hand, I'd like you to take it up on the outside of your neck and just draw down on the flesh at the collarbone. Breathe so deep all the way in there and then let that left shoulder drop, let the right shoulder drop. See if you can find a little bit more length in there. Belly's plugged. So good. Releasing that right hand back to our knee. Rotate first the chin back down to the armpit. Scooch it all the way back to center. Lift the chin on the horizon, right? So it's parallel to the floor and just start to do some easy neck circles. Whatever brings some comfort into your neck, keeping in mind that those little bones are pretty delicate. We don't need to rush them. Keeping the shoulders drop, let's go the opposite direction. Nice. Nicely done. All right, taking a breath, draw it up through that pelvic hammock. See, lift that upper body up. Take the breath all the way up into the rib cage. Lay the hands softly back down on our knees and drop the chin to the chest. Walk your way through this very gentle opening of the back of the neck. Following your breath, not mine. And once you're settled in here, then turn the chin so it's at an angle looking at your right armpit. Eyes can be open or closed. I like to have all my starting positions with my eyes closed. It helps me take that mind's eye inward a little more. So just, if you always have your eyes open, give it a try with your eyes closed. And follow the breath at this angle. Mm -hmm. Staying upright. And then lifting the chin up to the horizon, let that right ear drop over to your right shoulder. 
Again, check in. You're pressing down through those sit bones. You're, basically, your spine is anchored. Yeah. And once you're settled into this space, taking the right hand, I want you to take it on up to the side of the neck and then pull down on that collarbone. And breathe. Mm -hmm. And see if in the base of the neck, there's just a little bit more energy and openness. Yeah. Great. One more breath. See if there's any place that you could release. Have you started to put some pressure in the palm of the hand? Lighten that load. Let the elbow get heavy. Release the hand from the collarbone back to the knee and scoop that chin along the chest. Take one deep breath all the way up the back of that neck. And as you exhale, really allowing the weight of the top of the head, the crown of the head to take it down, down, down. Great. Let's go ahead and bring our heads back up onto the horizon. Again, checking that the crown of the head's over our heart. Our heart is over our pelvis. I want you to again visualize this strong, straight rod of your spine. Now, this whole yoga series has been about how do we feel more comfortable in our bodies as the year draws to a close after we go through Thanksgiving and then that delicious month of December and then the celebratory um, nuances of the new year so that we don't end the year bloated and really feeling uncomfortable. We want to feel more comfortable. So today, this is a really great practice for you to think about how are you lengthening your body. You may be traveling. I know I just got off the road after three days in the car. I feel like I'm a little bit hunched over. So think and visualize that spine on how can you have the jelly in between those vertebrae stretch just a little bit more. So let's try it this way. Inhale your arms all the way up, palms towards one another. Now reach up, but roll the shoulders down on your back. Did you see that adjustment? Let's do it again. Take a nice inhale, roll the palms out and exhale the hands back down to the mat. Take a breath, squeeze in through the sit bones, the pelvic area, roll the palms up on your inhale, take the arms up overhead, frame the ears. Now, wherever you are, I want you to observe this, this particular movement, okay? So since I've lifted my arms, my belly's gotten a little soft. So I'm going to go back and revisit that and press down on the sit bones, opening the knees, and see if I can't lift up. I knit those ribs in underneath. And I lengthen that mid soft belly area. But now I've taken my arms really close up to my ears. So I'm going to roll the shoulders and bring them back down. It opens up across your armpit well. Mm -hmm. Let's take another inhale. And exhale, roll the palms out and bring it back down. Now we're going to do that three more times. You do it at your pace. We'll inhale up. Roll the palms out, exhale back down. Inhaling back up. And exhaling back down. See if you can really pay attention, especially to that soft mid-belly area. That's where we're stretching, we're lengthening, we're lifting the rib cage up off of the diaphragm, and then we're bringing it all back down. Nice, excellent, good job. Let's now take the soles of our feet together. And if this is not available for you to have your feet on your mat, close to your hips, then take them out. You remember, you're looking for comfort in your body and we're asking our body to open. So if you're comfortable with them up close, then leave them close. You play around with this. Now, wherever you're at, I want you to lift up on that pelvic hammock again. Lift up and that anchors you down. Taking the thumbs right below your balls of feet. See if you can relax the inside thighs to widen those knees out just a little bit more. I know I always say just a little bit more. And so when you get to that place, then again, check in with the body. Lengthen up, lengthen up through the crown of head. Stretch, 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 stretch. And then exhale, folding the elbows onto the inside of the thigh of the calf. Now, 
This is where it gets a little tricky. I want you to draw your awareness once again to your lower abdomen. You're looking right down at your big toes. Take that belly button into the lower back. Feel your lower back start to lengthen. And then take the crown of the head away from you. The gaze can follow or just look off the tips of your toes. Now relax the shoulders. This is all about lengthening that lower back. And then relax the inner thigh muscles. If your hip flexors are super, super tight, then lengthen the feet out away, okay? Wherever you end up after you lengthen away from the body, then I want you to find stillness and softness. Go ahead and let the belly get a little softer. And then using the breath on the inhale, fill it up. See if it might pump the forehead forward a little bit more. And then as you exhale, take it all down. Three more breaths. Inhale. Visualizing that lower spine. And then exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One last one. See if you can draw the forehead to the feet. A little closer. Tuck the chin to the chest and roll yourself on back up into a strong seat, okay? We're gonna take the right leg out at a 45 degree angle and dorsiflex or really flex that foot, those toes back to your foot or face and then take your right, your left, Foot into the inside of that thigh. Now those toes are looking back at us, but you may be looking straight at your screen. So if you use your hands to lift yourself up a little bit and rotate those hips just a touch, we'll be able to give a little spinal rotation in the belly, take the arms up, and now we're lifting up and over, okay? Thumbs are to the sky. See if we can level the shoulders. Take a breath. Then lift on back up to heart center and close that pose. Now here's what I'd like you to really focus on on our next five breaths on this leg is that you're going to press down and away with your left hip to help you find that extra length, okay? It's gonna go like this. Sit up nice and tall, elbows nice and gently out even. Inhale on up, palm separate, exhale forward hinge. Stay here for five breaths. Inhale and exhale, lengthen forward. Using that middle finger as your target. See if you can lean out of the base as you stretch, reach down with that left hip and really get a nice long opening. If your hands come to the top of your foot, that's fine. Or if you're more comfortable down on your ankle, that's fine. Two more breaths. Gaze right down at your top of your knee. Tuck the chin, lengthen back up, close the pose, take the opposite leg out. Now we're going to do that on this side. So our left foot is lengthened about 45 degree angle. Toes are back to the face. So we sit on up, just pretend you have the reins of a horse to give yourself a little bit of a twist at the waist, lift up on the hips. See, here we go. Roll the shoulders down, arms up, forward hinge. Mm -hmm. Take note, five long inhales and even exhales here. One last time. Tuck our chins, reach on up, 
and close the pose. Good work, gang. Let's go ahead and take both legs out right in front of us, hands down at our sides. Lift up just a little bit so we're right on top of those sit bones. Bring the toes back to one another so they're facing our face. We've got a nice strong belly here. We're sitting upright, head over heart, heart over pelvis, shoulders over hips. Now, you can just sit right like this. This might be enough for the back of your calves and your legs. You're reaching your heels forward so far that the heels may actually lift off the floor and you've tightened up the top of those quad muscles. This may be just fine for you and that's great, okay? Super good way to strengthen and lengthen the calf muscles, but then to engage the top of our quads to really plug in that belly. If you want more, and if you have a strap, you can always use a strap around the base of your feet or tie a couple of neckties together if you still have some of those types of things around your house. Or we can just inhale up. It's not really a value to worry ever in the yoga practice on how far you're going to go. We're just going to lean out. So here's what I would recommend if this is new to you. Think of a pendulum that you're really, or a fly fisherman actually, now that I like this. But we're working this midsection. And we don't wanna collapse the lower back. So lift on up, get the, get the frame of your ribs off of the diaphragm. So this is plugged. So you can go ahead and put a hand right on the base of your belly and then lean up over top of that. You're reaching, reaching, reaching away, okay? Play around with that. And once you find your space, once you're wherever you're gonna land, check in again with the heels, really flex those feet tight. Maybe you can reach your toes, maybe you drop your arms down to the top of your shins. Whatever it is for you, I want you to take five breaths. And wherever you find yourself, Really stretch the skin around the back of the shoulders. Really plug that belly in, reaching forward over top of it. And then with the weight of the shoulders, feel the stretch across your upper back. Great. Tucking the chin, we're going to lift ourselves back up to center and close the pose. Now we're going to go ahead and get on our hands and knees. You're going to stretch the back a little bit more. So find your nice stacked neutral position. Your hips are right over your knees. Your hands don't worry about right now. I want you to lift your toes off the floor and stretch the front of your ankle as much as you can and then lay the foot back down. See if you can open the front of that foot, okay? Now, press down through the knees and double check that your hips are right over your knees. And then I want you to sink the hips back to the heels. And you may only come this far, okay? If you want to put a block or a blanket in between your hips and your calves, that's fine. Or you can also see if there's a little bit more distance by having your hands out front, um, elbows folded straight back. And I want you to press through the palms and push forward with them and see if it will inch those hips closer to your heels, okay? So we're using that dynamic tension of pushing the palm forward to sink the hips. Then once you're there, I'd like you to lay the elbows down and start to crawl the hands away from the body to lengthen as far as you possibly can on those arms. Come up on the fingertips, and then I want you to roll the wrists forward. So feel the stretch along the back. If at any time you feel that the hips start to lift, then plant your hands, <coughs> excuse me, plant your hands and push forward again to see if you can find some extra weight in those hips. Once you're as long along your back as possible, I want you to flatten your hands. See if you can again flatten the elbows. Feel the stretch across the top of your shoulders once again. 
If it's available, take the forehead to the mat. If not, then fold the arms so that you're resting on your forearms. You choose. Now, wherever you are, okay, I want you to breathe the air into your belly, pump it up, and then let it all go. Four more times. Inhale. And let it go. Moving at your pace. Allow the air to fill the entire back body. And as you let go, let the upper body really sink into the top of your thighs. Two more breaths. Great, go ahead and walk the hands back towards the knees and draw yourself up into the pencil shape. So we're right up over our knees, really press down on the tops of your feet, draw the core in, roll the shoulders down and then take the arms up overhead and then bring them down into gold post and open the heart center, right? Inhale and exhale. Taking the gaze up above the horizon. Inhale again. And exhale. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. One last time. And exhale. Planting the hands right underneath the shoulders. We're going to spread those fingers super wide. Spread the thumbs so that maybe they're looking right across from one another. Press down through your fingertips all the way up through your arms, okay? And now reach the right leg back. Top of foot down and take a breath. Find your breath and just open again the top of your foot. Be thankful for these feet. They just naturally guide us one step forward. And you know, it's the focus on the positive thoughts that our feet are taking us forward, not backwards. We get to move forward in our lives. Yeah, one more breath. Soften the knee. Great, then lift the leg right out of the hip taking the heel away from the body and do some rolls of that ankle. And then go the opposite direction. Maybe point and flex. Yeah. And then go ahead and lay that knee right back down. We'll extend the left leg now. Reach back with those toes as far as it'll go and then just put a little weight in the legs so it opens up the top of the foot. It's great. Yeah, this is so good. You know, we're going into the season of harder shoes, ankle boots, tall boots. Foot health is so important to our sense of freedom and independence. Taking our step for granted is something we should avoid. Head is still very neutral. Neck is loosey-goosey and the crown of the head is forward. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, go ahead and lift that left leg, shoot the heel behind, lengthen the leg, and then find some ankle rolls. And then the other direction. Awesome. All right, go ahead and lay that knee down. Let's find our cat and cow. So I always like to start out with cow. It feels super good to drape that belly. And then exhale up into a cat. Find your cat and cow. Really paint the belly to the mat. Arch the back to the sky. Three more. Two more. One last one. 
really take it to the sky and wag that tail a little bit. Give the waist a little bit of goose there. Yeah, that's nice. Awesome. Coming back to center, let's really frame that table up. Nice flat back. Lifting the right leg long and lifting the left arm up, framing the ear, exhaling it back down. Inhaling the opposite side up, thumb is to the sky, exhaling it back down. Four more at your pace. Inhaling as you lift. Exhaling as we lower. Press down through the palm. Reach away with the middle finger of the lifted arm. Reach away with the heel. One more on each side. Really claw those fingertips in. And exhale back down. One last time. Nice. Go ahead and push yourself back up into that pencil if you're comfortable in the pencil, or feel free to go ahead and sit down in the hero. Whatever is good for your knees. This is something we don't want to put more strain on our knees, okay? Inhaling the arms up. I want you to take your right palm down between your shoulder blades. So it's going to look like this. And then using your left arm, see if you can inch that elbow back behind the head without having the head jut forward. So you're lifting up out of this bent arm shoulder well, really reach up so you're stretching the side of your body. And then the hand is just taking that elbow so it hangs right down. Just hang out right here. Okay, now question to you, is your chin on the horizon or is your head jutted forward? If it's jutted forward, see if you can bring it back, maybe not bring the arm quite so much and work on this, on opening up this shoulder well. Every body is different and every side of your body is different. We're not gonna do cow face where we're gonna try and grab the hands. You could if you if that's part of your practice today, then I'm not gonna stop you. But right now I just am encouraging you and all of us to find length in our side body. Remember, we're gonna have that big meal next week. And how do we make space so that when we start to put too much in our body, we say, whoa, no, no, I need to stop. All right, go ahead and lengthen that bent arm back up to the sky. Let the other one breathe. In Intertwine your fingers and then take the palms to the sky and bring them straight out front. Really bring those palms towards me. Yeah, drop the shoulders down, lift the belly in. And then rotate to your right. Come back to center and rotate to your left. Let's do that again. Come back to center, frame it all up. The hips are not going to move. The tops of your feet are anchored into the mat or behind you. And so you're reaching, just a, again, a nice internal rotation. Yep. Come on back to center, take the arms back up overhead and release the other, the other elbow behind you. Find this spot first. And if we're arching, thank you, Matt. If you're arching, okay, I'm over-exaggerating for you. I want you to bring yourself up over those hips and bring that elbow open. Opening again the side body. Take a couple of breaths here. Really use that pelvic hammock as a secure foundation. Mm -hmm. Breathe all the way up. Feel the stretch on the front of your body. Oh, it's just great. Just great, 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 great. Making space. Yeah. Chin stays on the horizon. Breathe all the way up into that side body. Yeah. Release your bent arm back up to the sky. Let the other one greet. And now bring the palms down. So you can see how my palms are reaching away. So engage the muscle around the bone, that bicep muscle. And then softly roll the shoulders together and let your fingers come together in the back. All right. Now, we're right over. We're stacked, right? We're going to take those knuckles down and lift the crown of the head up. 
Go ahead and take the gaze up. And then if you want to start to squeeze them together, see if you can lift the knuckles away from the hips. Yeah. You got it? Yep. You're doing good. Go ahead. Reach, 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 reach. Opening up the front side of that shoulder. Yeah. If you want a little bit more, go ahead and release your hands and take them to your the tops of your hips and lean back into the palms for a little bit of a back bend, keeping the shoulder blades rolled towards one another. Just a different variation. Press down on the tops of the feet, your anchor. Remember those quads are working and reach over that lower spine. Wherever you find yourself, friends, I want you to sit down into your best child's pose. Take three breaths. Sliding the hands back up under our shoulders. We're gonna go ahead and lift ourselves back up into that pencil shape. Now, I want you to work on this, finding this connectivity again with this mid belly, with this soft area where our stomach resides, the top of our abdomen to our diaphragm, all right? Knees are hip distance apart. Shoulders are rolled down our back. Now let's take our right hand and lay it over somewhere onto our left hip. It all depends on your body. It might be in the front. You might be able to wrap around. Here's what I'd like you to work on, is that we are not rotating our hips. This is all about developing internal rotation, all right? So the hips stay, and this upper body is able to swivel. So work with me here. Take your right hand and place it around the back of your left hip. And then take your left arm and bring it around and see if you can wrap around, okay? And I want you to just take three breaths. Let everything go soft. Okay, now with our chin on the horizon, I want you to look over your left shoulder. See if you can roll the eyeballs back without compromising our hip position and see if maybe we can tiptoe the right hand around that left hip a little bit further. Again, without compromising our hip location, can we find a little bit more internal washcloth wringing out? One more breath, let the shoulders pull down. Yeah, bring the head around first and then slowly unwrap yourself, bring the arms up overhead and reach with one arm, reach with the other. And again, reach and again. One more time, reaching and reaching. Great, go ahead and roll the shoulders, shrug them up, roll them around, let the arms be loose. Shake the hands out. And then take your left hand and take it around to the right hip. Just that movement, what happened to your belly? Shore it up and then take your opposite hand, which would be your right hand, around to the opposite, okay? And see if you can't rotate this way. Chins on the horizon, eyes are wide open, seeing our wonderful future in front of us. Keeping the hips expressed forward, we're just wrapping our gaze around that body. Terrific. One more breath. Okay, go ahead, bring the head back forward, release everything, sweeping those arms up, then rotate to your left, inhale back up, 
sit down into an extended child's pose, tuck the chin, lift yourself back up tall, and exhale to the right. Again, inhale back up, sit on back down. Inhale back up, and exhale, rotating to the left. Inhale back up, exhale back down. Inhale back up, and exhale to the left. One more time, both sides gain. Inhale on up. Exhale down. Inhale up, around to your left, gazing all the way around, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Awesome. Come back to center, looking straight ahead. This is something that I want you to practice. Consider practicing um, as you go towards whatever you're going to prepare for Thanksgiving. I find from as a person that has put high use on my hands that doing some hand therapy is really helpful anymore as I'm aging and to be able to have my hands feel more lubricated, more comfortable. So if you are finding stiffness in your hands, I suggest you get a tennis ball. Um, this is actually Maddie's ball, but it's a really hard rubber ball. For right now, you don't have a ball. Just go ahead and make some heat between the palms of your hands, okay? So it, when you find a ball, I want you to just roll around. And really remember to get into the fleshy base of your thumbs um, and then kind of cup around and put some more pressure, go hand to hand. Then roll the ball down into the base of the palm, top of the wrist. And you can make this meditative and do it super slow. Or if you need, are feeling a little anxious, Go ahead and do it one direction, then do it the other direction, okay? But this is a really good thing, especially if you're a pie maker, to get those fingers going. So that's my little holiday tip for your hand health. But once you have a ball, and if you don't have a ball right now, just use your palms together. I want you to stack the palms on top of either side of the ball and lengthen the middle fingers forward. Drop the shoulders, lift the lower belly. Okay, and I want you to just isometrically roll it from side to side. Keeping the shoulders steady, feeling the length of the arm, pressure between the palms of the hands. It's really good for our wrists and our, early, or our front side of our forearm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Bring the ball back in or your palm back in. Go ahead and get into your stable table position, if you would, for me. Now, if you are not practicing this with a ball, what I'd like you to do is lean a little weight into your wrist. So you can see that my arms are straight up and down from my shoulders, but I want you to lean forward just a little bit and then start to put a little bit of pressure into the wrist and just roll the wrist. Oh, my hand just popped. You might find that too. When you have a ball and practice with the ball, go ahead and take the ball under one hand at a time and press down through the palm of the hand and roll that hand, okay? Really use the finger pads in your rooted home pad, but let the hand really have its way. This is a great place for you to be able to release tension, especially if you're on a computer all the time, into the base of that wrist, um, right underneath the palm of the hand. Feel free to roll it up. Now, if you want even a little bit more release in that forearm and you're using a hard ball, go ahead and roll the forearm forward. Find out what feels good for you, okay? 
Going back to not using the ball, I want you to turn your fingers back towards yourself if this is comfortable to you. And then I want you to put a little bit of weight into the hips, just enough weight in the hips to really open the underside of your forearm. Fingers are pressing lightly down. This really is an intense stretch on the inside of our wrists. So find out if it's comfortable for you, then practice it. If it's not comfortable for you, then obviously do not do it. Take one more breath. And then softly roll those palms back in front. Sit on up and do some wrist rolls because that's a lot of opening on the wrists. Now I've included this stretch today for us to practice in preparation of the Thanksgiving feast. We will be lifting more bowls. Some things have more weight in them than they do in our daily life. Or you may be like me, you're going to do a bunch of baking in a short term that you haven't done in a while. So hand health is another thing for a healthy outlook for you to feel comfortable as you celebrate Thanksgiving going forward. Let's go ahead and get a couple of down dogs in and shift our body weight now, okay? So hands are at the top of the mat. Little fingers are aimed out towards the edge of the mat. First, find your nice strong plank arms. Roll the toes under. Find your plank. Yeah. And then lean back in those heels. And on an exhale, press the heels up to the sky. Go ahead and find a nice down dog. Pedal the guy out. Let's do a couple sun salutations before we get down on our backs. So find some stillness. If you want to lengthen your back and get it into a little bit flatter position, take the belly button all the way into the spine and bend the knees really deep, pressing down and forward through your arms. Nice straight back, okay? Really, really nice straight back. Now lengthen those legs, yep. Breathe on an inhale up into a nice strong plank. Either drop the knees or fold the elbows back and lower yourself down to the mat. Lifting the kneecaps into a soft cobra and exhaling back down, rolling the toes under, up into plank, back into dog, and walking our hands back to greet our feet. Feet are hip distance apart. Find your forward fold. Knees can be dip, bent deep. Take a breath, let it roll off the back of the head, all the way out the crown of your head and softly lift yourself up to standing. So good. Inhaling the arms overhead. Swan back forward, forward. Lift up into monkey. Nice. And exhale, walk yourself back out to plank. <clears throat> Lower yourself down to the mat, plant the tops of the feet. Lift up into a soft cobra, nice back body, soft hands. Roll the toes under, travel through plank, find your down dog, pedal it out if that would feel good. Mm -hmm. Then walking the hands back to greet the feet, hang in a forward fold, lift in the monkey, exhale in the fold. Bend the knees, inhale back up, close pose. pose. Inhale, swan dive forward fold. Lift into monkey. Release into fold. Walk out into a plank. Find your cobra. Ooh. Relax back down to the mat. Roll the toes under. Breathe yourself up into a plank. And find your down dog. Oh, so good. Go ahead and drop the knees. And sink back into your child's pose, taking the hands around to your feet. Give them a little love. Then lifting yourself up over your hips. Let's take the heels out from underneath us and find our way down onto our mat, okay? Here we are down onto the mat. Bring the knees into the body and roll side to side. Rolling just from edge to edge on that nice um, sacrum bone, yeah? That nice flat base of our back. 
arms out into a T, kicking the heels up, opening the feet wide on an inhale, pointing the toes, releasing the exhale. Inhale wide and exhale close. Three more. Inhale wide, exhale closed. Inhale wide, exhale closed. One more. Inhale wide and exhale closed. Let's fold the left leg down to the mat and take the right ankle over the left thigh, okay? Now, arms are out into a T, palms up or down, your call. Chin is slightly tucked to the chest so that you can feel just the base of your skull. I want you to press down on your lower back, feel your pelvis tilt upward, and then rock it back so you then arch the back. Little bit of a baby inversion here first. Just feel your spine ebb and flow. Mm -hmm. Nice, all right, come back to that stillness and slide the right, the left heel back towards your hips until the heel lifts. Once the heel lifts, then take the foot off the floor and flex that left foot. Draw it into the body first. Your arms are out in a T right now. Mm -hmm. Flex your, also your right foot. Both feet are flexed, okay? Just feel on the outside of your right hip any kind of stretch that may be occurring. Acknowledge it. And then taking the hand through the needle, that's what's called threading the needle. I want you to lay that right hand on top of your left shin, lay your left hand on top of the right hand. And encourage that knee to come not only towards your face, but for the thigh to come down to your body. Now, if the shoulders have rolled up, I ask that you invite them to lay back down, okay? And hang out here. This may be enough stretch on the back of your leg. Relax the belly, really press through that lower back so the back is safe and the hip is the one that is getting the reward here. If you want more, go ahead and take your hands to behind the thigh, just behind the knee and point that left leg all the way up and then roll the heart center up off of the mat. Your eye is looking at the big toe, that pointed left big toe. Really reach for that. Mm -hmm. Take a couple more breaths. And I'd like you to relax in the shoulder heads. If you're really trying to pull yourself up, I'd like you to adjust and press down through the lower back instead, the lower back and the belly. Yep. Awesome. You guys are doing really, really well. I just know it. I'm just thinking about you puts a smile on my face. Let's softly lay our head back down, bend that left foot, arms back out into a T, and take the right foot all the way to the sky, reaching away from the body with the toes as we softly lay the leg back down. Once it hits the mat, it's gonna slide back up underneath the knee, and we're gonna take the left ankle over the right thigh, opening up that left hip socket. Okay, and then sliding the right heel back to the body, it lifts and we draw everything inward. This is another great opportunity to feel the differences inside to side in your body. Take notes, both sides of our body rarely ever feel the same. So just acknowledge it and say thank you for whatever your body is giving you today, meeting you where you part today, right? It's on the mat now, not yesterday, not tomorrow. <sighs> and then thread the needle as you choose, laying the palms on top of one another and drawing that thigh down towards the face. And really, really focus on the breath. Relax the shoulders, the teeth, the tongue, the eyes. Let that hip open. I got to tell you, after being in the car for three days, this feels great to this girl. And then if you want more, release the hands to the back of the hamstring, reach up through that middle toe, lift the upper body up, 
And you're lifting up, kids. You're lifting up, not pulling up. You're lifting up out of that gorgeous, gorgeously strong body of yours. Yep. Couple more breaths. Breathe. Lowering the head and heart back down, folding that right knee, arms back out into a T. Shoot that left leg all the way up and let it lengthen, 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 lengthen. Sliding the sole on your mat back up, lifting the knees into the body. Reach around and see if you can find the outside of your ankles or the bottoms of your feet. Once again, lift up the heart center, tuck the chin in between your knees and just roll side to side. Mm-hmm. Oh, say thank you to the back. Yep. And laying it all down, shooting the heels up. Let's open the hips wide, taking our two fingers between our big toe and our second toe, plug the end of the big toe for peace fingers and find your happy baby. I ask and encourage that you have the entire flat of your back on the mat. Rolling side to side and then find a place of stillness. Let the knees sink down, softening the shoulder heads, closing the eyes, and feeling our seat stretch wide and open. If it would feel good for you to stretch your legs long, and you can still keep your back flat, then by all means do that. If you want to take the toes overhead, then by all means do that. Wherever you find that you'd like a little bit more stretch, then that's where I encourage you to go. Wherever you find yourself, lower yourself back down to the mat, lengthen the legs long, arms down by our side, Pointing the toes away, I want you to take an inhale, bring the arms up overhead, and exhale back to the body. Inhale everything away, and then exhale back to the body. One more time. Inhale overhead, exhale inward. Go ahead and lay everything softly down on the mat. Placing our thumbs in our belly button, our fingers spread wide across our abdomen. Take the heels, if you would, out to the corners of your mat and just sink in. Softly roll the right ear to the right shoulder. And then back over to the left shoulder. Couple more times if that would feel good to you. And then find some stillness. Let everything go to neutral. Acknowledge whatever space has been created in your heart, your mind, and your physical body today. And say thank you. Thank you for being you. Strong and gifted. Healthy and full of love. Feel the breath. Feel it press against the palms of your hands. And as you exhale, sink everything again back into the earth. Two more similar breaths, inhaling, blowing the belly up as a balloon. And exhaling back down.
One last time. Find peace, find stillness, and welcome the love from your body that is available to your body. Friends, I invite you to stay in this position for as long as you can and revisit it with frequency during your course of your holiday season. If it is time for you to move on in your day, I hope that your head is held high, there's light in your eyes, and the war is warmth in your heart. With my hands, with palms together, I say thank you to each of you. May today's tutorial give you some pause and reflection on what does your body feel like when you're able to really stretch it. We spend a lot of time with internal rotation, so I encourage you to drink a lot of water today. And I encourage you to take some of those slow breaths and slow stretches as you prepare for your Thanksgiving holiday ahead. It's been a joy and a pleasure to be with you. As always, I love you tons. And I wish for you to live with greater ease and to live completely entrenched in your health, in your happiness, and your wholeness. Namaste. Thanks again, friends, for joining the Coreview Way. I'll be back again next week on Tuesday. I look forward to spending more time with you in how to live a healthier, more comfortable body as we enjoy, enjoy the festivities and the camaraderie of the holiday season ahead. See you later. Bye-bye.